Sooners fall to Texas 36-20 was the final on Saturday. Up next, the Kansas Jayhawks coming up at 2.30, kickoff just after 2.30 on Saturday afternoon. Questions are flowing in. You can email us or tweet us tonight, asksooners at ou.edu, or tweet us at ou on the air. And we're joined now by the head coach of the Oklahoma Sooners. A round of applause for Bob Stoops, please, everyone. Hi, Coach. Uh, hello, Toby. Am I right on time or late again? Uh, you're right on time. A little late. You're, all, you're, you're always right on time. The opening segment is always brought to you by Laird Hammonds Laird, the law firm for all your legal needs. We know what it takes to win. Uh, Coach, uh, review of Saturday's game against Texas. Um, yeah, like I've said you know, numerous times now, you have to give Texas the credit for making the big plays in the game that really always make a difference in this game. And um, they made them with, um, you look at the interception for a touchdown, uh, and then um, two big pass plays, and then the punt return for a touchdown. It allows them, and then with that, uh, yeah, I thought early in the game, we weren't as effective as we have been defensively on third downs. We've had a lot of great third down stops, and, and offensively, equally poor. Uh, we had, I think, six three and outs, three in the first half. And uh, so to go with it, they make the big plays, you have a lead, you're able to run the, you continually run the football and not have to take chances. They hand the ball off 60 times. And and when you have a lead, that's what you do. And uh, so in, in the, way, the way I looked at it, you know, it's just really, they made those big plays. They made the two big pass plays. We didn't make nearly enough big plays. You know, they, uh, we ran the football really well, about 5.8 a carry for our running backs, almost six yards a carry can take away uh, the sacks from Blake, and um, but we that, that was an issue. We we didn't throw the ball very well. They they covered us. Give them credit. They uh, you know they covered us well. A couple probably two three of those sacks are covered sacks. The first interception for the touchdown for um, we Blake sees the blitz, but our receiver doesn't. He's not ready for the hot. You know we want to get him the ball sooner. Blake's trying to wait for him to look. Well, by the time he looks, he's off balance and he throws a poor ball. So, you know, just the, the execution that way wasn't what it needed to be. And, um, and and that's how you end up on the wrong side of it, which we've seen before. You know, we've been on the other end of it when, when those things have happened in our way. Teams always uh, uh, throw in a few wrinkles, offensive and defensive game plans. Did Texas do anything that threw you off? Uh, uh, well, a little bit. Um, they they made they they played some 50 defense, uh, you know, that they hadn't done in the past, and and uh, you know had a blitz or two that, you know, where they brought brought some guys that weren't we weren't used to them blitzing, and so but that that's not unusual. Every week there's right. there's a blitz or so that you haven't seen, um, and then uh, offensively, uh, not really. Uh, they. You know, a little bit of formation into the boundary, which again isn't isn't all that unusual. But you know, they did some of that, and uh, you know, played. Uh, uh, but the other parts of it were pretty similar to what we, you know, were ready for. Was the 50 defense an effort by them to shut off the quarterback run game? Uh, do you think that's the reason for it? Well, it could be part of the reason, you know, as well as giving us a different look, mm -hmm. you know, something you haven't prepared for. Uh, those are both good reasons for it. Did you feel like your guys were uh, had a good week of practice, were ready I to did. play going into I, Saturday? I did. Um, you know, in the end, they executed better than we did. And, yeah. and that's, that's you know, they, it's not like they don't have good players and yeah. know what they're doing, and, and that's what happens in these kind of games. If you make a couple of critical mistakes or they make, a, give them the credit, they make a couple of exceptional plays, they're hard to overcome. I'm always uh, interested, win or lose, the message that you have for your team after the game, either well, immediately or a couple of days later. What's the message? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not much on sharing all of it with everybody. That's that's between us and the locker room. Uh, but in the end, um, you know, part of it was give them the credit. They made the big plays. We didn't. And, and you know, it's, it's up to us as coaches, players, to be able to be on that top edge to make those plays and not them, you know. And, and that's how it was in this game. So uh, you got to give the credit to them and, and, and try and improve and make sure next week and the weeks to come that, that you know, we put ourselves in position to make these plays. We'll talk some specific specifics from the Cotton Bowl when we come back. Also, of course, we're going to look ahead to Lawrence, Kansas coming up.